A lot of people don't read because they're afraid of books. The books aren't their friend. But do you want to take feeling stupid to a whole new level? Chess books will get you there quick. Because before you even look in the direction of a chess book, no. Before you even exist in the same room, in the same airspace as a chess book, it is assumed that you are fully aware of what these strange bizarre words mean. Triangulation, hypermodernism, woman grandmaster, skewer decoy initiative loft deflection, these German words and prophylaxis. What in God's green earth is prophylaxis? Type 1 prophylaxis, type 2 prophylaxis, type... Maybe you should stick to watching mortal chess videos. But wait, surely all you have to do is Google the terms, memorize them, and then achieve God status. Immediate recognition and memory of words, and, 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 and I'm also very verbally fluent. Right. Except, that's when they hit you with the symbols. Yes, this one is familiar. It's red and we see it every day. This one is blue, and it's usually a mouse slip. But then there are these... satanic symbols? Black is suffering. Someone has evil intentions. White is suffering and may the suffering continue for eternity. But if somehow, you learn all the bizarre terminology and follow all the symbols through the chess opening you are trying to learn, you will finally get to a position where, unfortunately you will be left hanging with this one very depressing sentence. White to move and win.